I'm Kiran Kumar from Nature of Physics. Today, third part from the projectile motion, final velocity of projectile. Okay, student. For this, I'm considering here, this is the initial velocity resolve into two component and final velocity is a different positions taken student P, Q, R and this is taken as S position student. Okay. So for derivation point of view, I'm considering P position. So initial velocity U bar, which is equal to U X I cap plus U Y J cap. Okay, student. There U X is equal to U cos theta and U Y is equal to U sin theta student. Already we did it in the first video. Now final velocity is going to find okay for final velocity also same method I'm writing V bar which is equal to Vx i cap plus Vy j cap I have to find the Vx and Vy students so for this Vx is equal to Ux plus Ax into T and Vy which is equal to Uy plus a y into t see there clearly v x is equal to u x is equal to u cos theta plus a x is equal to 0 0 into anything 0 so i got v x is equal to u cos theta e is written as equation number 1 next v y is equal to u sin theta this is u y plus a y is minus g into t so v y is equal to u sin theta minus g t this is written as equation number two okay student <coughs> okay and continuation next here i can write the values also u x is equal to constant so that a x is equal to 0 here u y is the variable student and a y is equal to minus g is taken a y is equal to minus g taken upward direction velocity decreases and downward direction final velocity is decreases okay so we got the equations so both the values x and y replacing in this equation student so i will get final velocity v bar is equal to uh, vx value is u cos theta i cap and here vy value is u sin theta minus gt into j cap so that i can write this is the final velocity first equation with values this is the second equation okay student and continuation next one is here writing magnitude and direction student so first one magnitude okay this is two dimension vector student see clearly diagonal square is equal to side square plus side square so that diagonal is a represented velocity final velocity v square and one side is vx square plus another side is v y square okay student v which is equal to root over vx square plus v y square now this is written as equation number three student in which vx vy values are replacing that is v into root over vx is equal to u cos theta see the first one whole square vy is equal second one u sin theta minus gt whole square okay student now i can write this is equation number four and also we can find the direction student okay so direction see student for direction i can write clear triangle is there this is tan alpha here also represented 
alpha making an angle with x axis for final velocity tan alpha which is equal to opposite by adjacent side opposite is vy and adjacent side is uh, vx student so alpha which is equal to tan inverse of vy divided by vx okay student and also we can write vx and vy we can replace there alpha which is equal to tan inverse of vy value is u sin theta minus gt divided by vx value is u cos theta so that this is the equation number fifth one and this is i can write as equation number six to one student this is clear information about the final velocity of projectile motion thank you please like and subscribe my channel